Revelation 22 and Daniel. I'm finishing up Revelation in this video. Revelation 22, verse 1. River, it says, And he shewed me a pure river of, of water of life, bright as crystal, going forth out of the throne of God and of the land. Now, rivers, Aquarius, you hear a lot of things. People talk about rivers recently. By the way, that picture is a picture my mother painted a long time ago. She's gotten better. And that's a picture when I was in Lisbon, Portugal. Um, rivers are a sign of Aquarius. You've noticed people talk about rivers. We've got a radio station, supposed to be a Christian radio station, that is called The River. I think it's a Christian radio station called The River. Something happened with my finger. We have a Christian radio station called The River. And um, I think there was a church around here called The River, about a mile from, mile from my house, from my apartment, called The River. Rivers have to do with Aquarius. Um, so this is talking about Aquarius and crystal. Is, I think crystal is a gemstone of a birthstone of Aquarius. And someone might say, oh, it's another one, but there's more than one gemstone, just like with cancer. I think it's the emerald and uh, the, 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 and the, and the um, pearl are gemstones of cancer. Somebody's calling me, apparently. Um, verse 2, it go, talks about the tree of life. That goes back to Genesis. The tree of life goes back to Genesis and talks about the tree of life. It says, we'll see God in verse two, verse four, we'll see God's face and his name will be on our foreheads. And the saints will reign forever. And I've got Young's literal translation of the Bible, which is why it's probably in a, in a language that a lot of people don't like in Elizabethan English. But it's very accurate, or it's ac as accurate as you can get, pretty much. Um, things will be things will shortly come to pass. Seal not for the seal not the book for the time is at hand. Verse six and verse ten. Saints will reign forever. Verse four, see or verse five. Um, verse eleven. And he who is unrighteous, and he who is unrighteous, let him be unrighteous still. And he who is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he who is righteous, let him be declared righteous still. And he who is sanctified, let him be sanctified still or holy. The other trans, another uh, King James version doesn't say declared righteous. It says let him be righteous. This says declared. It could be an inaccuracy. Um, and lo, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to render each to each as his work shall be. So we're rendered according to our works. We're rendered to according to our works. If we do works in faith, we're saved by our faith, by through our works. Faith through works, not work in the place of faith. Faith causing works. James 5, I think, maybe. James 5? Maybe. James 3, James 4. Um, it says, and without the dogs, and it says sorcerers, and the sorcerers, but that means drug users, I believe. They say sorcerers in the King James and in this version, and it's not sorcerers. Apparently, a sorcerer is something like a witch. And without, are the, are, and without the dogs and the drug users and the whoremongers and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone who is loving and is doing a lie. I think that could be pseudos, which means a fakery or a hypocrisy. Um, that's Revelation 22. And you can officially call ourselves done with Revelation because I've gone through the whole book. Now I want to go to Daniel, and I did this on my, on my Christian show for um, the public television station. 
Jan Daniel. Um, seven verse seven. After this, I after this I was seeing I was seeing the in visions of the night and look, and this says it was a dream, in the verse one and look a fourth beast terrible and fearful, and exceedingly strong. And it had iron teeth very great. It consumed, yea, it breaketh small. And the remnant with its feet it trampled. And it is diverse from all the beasts that before it. And it hath ten horns. So this is different from all the beasts. And the Bible says in, and I'm about to read it, the Bible says in Daniel 4, or maybe I'll, I'll read it, but I don't know whether I'll read it out loud. In Daniel 4, Daniel 12, 4, it says knowledge will pile up. The word is pile up in the Hebrew, like piling up grain or something like that. So, um, has iron teeth. That has to do with the Roman Empire. And, and Revelation says the Roman Empire will be coming back again. That's why it says iron teeth. Because the statue was of gold and silver and bronze or brass and iron and, and iron mixed with clay at the end. And this is the iron mixed with clay time. We're in the iron mixed with clay time, which is probably why a lot of people are building their houses in the earth and out of earth. The, um, what do they call that? Uh, the pressed earth houses or the, I forget what they call them. Verse eight, the little horn and the others plucked up by, and others plucked up by the roots. <clears throat> and three of the three of the first horns were eradicated from before it, and a mouse speaking great things. So it's it's boastful. Great things are boastful. I think and that's what it says. Beast, the beast is slain and given to the burning flame. Verse eleven, verse thirteen through fourteen. The son of man came with clouds. A kingdom everlasting dominion and it talks about a kingdom and everlasting dominion and, and it, it, it talks about what the, these verses mean because Daniel didn't understand and it says and it says the little horn will war with the Saints and he prevailed and then in chapter 22 the ancient of days came and um, in chapter or verse 22, the Ancient of Days came. Daniel 7, verse 22, the Ancient of Days came, which is God, and judgment was given to the saints. Now it says something, and I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Daniel 4, Daniel 12, 4. And thou, O Daniel, hide the things and seal the book till the end, till the time of the end. Many go to and fro, and knowledge is multiplied. Now it says where people will go to, to and fro, and that's what people are doing. They've come to the United States, they've come to the come to the Americas, and they've come to Australia, and they've moved to and fro, and they've even moved westward or eastward in, in Russia. Now a lot of Russians live eastward and the people live all over the place. Um, but it says knowledge will pile up in the Hebrew, which is what is happening. It's how I'm able to talk to you. Knowledge is piling up. All right, that's the end of Revelation 22. And that's the end. And that's what I wanted to read from Daniel. I want to say also, there are BRIC countries. The Brazil, it, it, it's an anacronym. An anacronym. Uh, I think that's what it is. An anacronym. I forgot. I've forgotten how to say it. <laughs> um, B is Brazil. R is Russia. I is India. And C is China. That spells brick. And these will be the leading countries in the future according to what I've read on the internet. The brick countries. Um, the Antichrist is supposed to be declared in two years. He's supposed to announce himself telepathically. The beast should be set up by 2033. That's 18 years. And there should be a fall of the U.S., fall of the United States before then. And I want to get out of this country. 
and the end of American sovereignty, of United States sovereignty. All right.